Hello, welcome to another video. What you have here looks like you want to take the limit of an expression that will lead you to E. However, the problem is that the 1 here has been replaced with A and this X is not alone, there's a B multiplying it. What does that mean for your definition of E when you take the limit? Don't forget that the limit, this limit is how you define E, okay, which is um, e is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the x. But now things have been changed. You have a over x and then you have bx. So uh, our mission today is to take this limit, but the safe way is to use the definition of e. So we rewrite this expression so it looks somehow like this. Let's see how we can do that math. Okay. So the first attempt you want to make is to make sure that this looks like 1 over x. This is not a problem. This is a problem. And this is a problem. Well, let's see. Let's rewrite this so that it looks like 1 over something. Okay? And we'll see how to put that something out here. So let's say, let's say, let, um, no, let's just rewrite this. I think it's, it's better to rewrite this and say, that this is the same thing as the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over the reciprocal of this, which will be x over a. Now, look at this. a over x is the same thing as 1 over x over a. So, the reciprocal of a reciprocal is the original. Okay? You get that. So, you see that 1 over... 1 over 2 is the same thing as just writing 2 because you took the reciprocal of 2 and took the reciprocal of that so you, you end up with a 2. So that's the principle we're using here and that will be raised to power bx. Now we don't want to keep writing this so let's look for one letter to represent x over a. So we say let u be equal to x over a and that simply means that x will be equal to a times u. Okay, now there's one more thing we need to consider. As x approaches infinity, as this approaches infinity becomes um, increasingly large, this expression too will become large, and that means u is also approaching infinity. So we can write that also that as x as x approaches infinity, we know that u also will approach infinity. Remember, a is a constant, so it doesn't change. The only way these two will be the same as x is increasing is if u also, which is a function of a, will also increase. So that gives us x, a, u also approaches infinity. And with this, we can make the substitution and readjust it. So what we now need to do is to go back and rewrite this only in terms of u. So this would be the limit. Instead of writing x, you just use u because we've established that here. Approaches infinity of this expression 1 plus 1 over now this is u so we have b multiplied by now what is x we're no longer using x x is a times u so that is a times u okay so this expression will lead us to the limit as u not x as u approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over u raised to power, you see we can put this u here, okay, and then raise it to power ab. Okay, you raise that to power ab. Now what you have here is very similar to that, just that we're replacing u with x, that's it. But this is still the definition of e. It doesn't matter what u is. Okay, so at this point we can rewrite this. Let me box this away. So we can rewrite this right now. Okay, this one more thing. Yeah, we can't just say this is e because it is raised to a power and you're taking the limit of this. This is not raised to any strange power. But there's a limit law that you need to know, which is that the limit of a function is the function of the limit, which means that the limit of this to this power will be the same thing as if you take the limit of this and then take the, the power of it. So it's just like saying the limit as x approaches, let's say, q 
of x squared is the same thing as the limit as x approaches q of x, then you square it, okay? So this principle is important to this um, thing we're dealing with. You, you have to register that, okay? So if you remember that, then we can. I, I'm gonna box that also, okay? So you have the picture of what we're doing. So at this point, I'm gonna push in the limit function in here. So this leads us to the limit as u approaches infinity of one plus one over u, okay, raised to u, then this entire expression is raised to a b. Now we have established what is exactly defined as e. We just switch the x to the to u in this case. So this is e to a b. Don't forget this is what made it possible. Okay, it's this law that made it possible. So I need you to have that at the back of your mind. So whatever is modified here or here, just know you need to multiply the two together and it will still be E. I hope you learned something in this video. If it helped you, please give it a like and share. And make sure you subscribe if you want more videos like this. My name is Newton Okiwaye, and don't ever stop learning. Because those who stop learning have stopped living. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.